Shane, obviously the you know last few weeks you've been or games you've been um, in the lineup, being able to play. What has it been like for you to be able to jump in here and the positions that um, Coach Green has been putting you in? Yeah, obviously. Uh, you know, you're just excited to be here, and uh, so obviously you can kind of ride that energy, um, you know, from the call up, um, you know, a little bit of nervousness, but be able to ride that energy, and you know, I've just been trying to help wherever I can, wherever I'm putting the line up, and um, you know, bring my speed and energy, and you know, help my line mates, and you know, ultimately just help the team win here. When you were able to play up with Nico and Bradder, I mean, what was that like for you? Obviously, having talked to Travis, you know, he said he likes all those things you were saying, that energy, that toughness about it. What did you kind of like about that experience? Yeah, obviously, two unbelievable players. So for me, um, you know, kind of made my job easier. Um, you know, I was just trying to, you know, use my speed, create turnovers, you know, help get the puck to them, and uh, you know, you know, playing with players like that, they make it pretty easy. So. Um, you know, like I said, try and use my speed, create space for them, and you know, ultimately get the puck into their hands. <laughs> um, and what has this this year been like for you? And where have you seen maybe the biggest progression in your game that you know the team was like, we want him to come up here? Um, yeah, like obviously it's you know it's been a long year. I dealt with a couple injuries there um, in the new year after my first call up. So um, you know, I'm I'm happy to get back up here and uh, you know, like I said, you know, try and showcase what I can bring and uh, you know, hopefully you know I can help the team move forward. Obviously, you know, just a few games left in the Devils' schedule here, but to be able to get an opportunity, come back up, I and mean, what does that mean to you to help finish off the year here? Yeah, it's special. I think um, just happy to you know get the call up and you know be able to try and play my game up here and uh, do the best. I can obviously. Um, I'm really excited to be here in Toronto, and it's it's going to be fun. So that's it. I was going to say, especially that we're here in Toronto, in Ontario. You're from here. I mean, I know you weren't born here, but yeah. all that. You have a lot of family here. Yeah, um, I have family that lives here, and then I'm from Ottawa, just four hours down the down the highway. So um, <laughs> it's pretty special. And like I said, it's it's an exciting building to play in, and I'm um, just ready for it. And when it comes to the progression you've seen in your game, right? One of the things that Fitzy or whoever always talks about, we're going to call up the person who deserves it the most. What have you seen? in your game to take yourself to that level there where you're getting yeah I think it's just like figuring out everything in, in your game and what, what details are going to make you successful which is, and then what aren't so um, I think just you know f finding that out and knowing what game I need to play to be successful at um, the HL level and then at the NHL level as well so um, it's just about doing the right things to be able to take that step and I, I think I've worked towards that this year and it's, it's been good how different are those types of games when you talk about you know playing at both different levels? It's still you, but yeah. the adjustment, like how for do you sure. Do that? Yeah, I think um, you know when you get like it's only your first couple of games here, you gotta you know maybe play a little bit more simple, but you still want to play your, your game too and be able to show your yeah. stuff. And um, I think that's that's what I want to do. And um, just trying to have fun with it too. I think um, my first game, I was you're definitely a little bit nervous and a lot of things are happening. But I think this time around, you you learn a little bit from that and um, just gonna try and play my game like I said. I was gonna say it probably just makes it easier, right? Mm -hmm. That you are have that first experience behind you. Yeah, exactly. I think, um, you know, doing the solo lab and all that stuff is really fun, but um, you almost want to get that out of the way, and now it's just hockey, so it's, it's good, yeah. <laughs> Trav, just a couple things from Skate this morning. I saw that uh, Nosek wasn't taking those initial reps. Is he okay, and sort of what's... It, how's yeah, he... he won't be available for tonight. He went out and tested it, and uh, it was obvious that he can't play, so uh, he won't be in tonight. And what do you expect from a kid like Graham Clark coming into the lineup from Ontario, only has one game of NHL experience? What do you think that would be like? Yeah, it would be an exciting game. I talked to him quickly out there just uh, to get him laugh laughing a little bit and smile. Uh, whenever you're an Ontario kid, uh, getting to play in Toronto is always, uh, you know, it's going to be special for him. And uh, he might be a little bit nervous and <laughs> told him to just enjoy it, take it all in. This is, uh, he looked good in the morning skate and he's, we had him playing with Nico. You probably see, you know, our, our wingers might shuffle around a little bit. We got some young guys uh, in the lineup, and uh, might might adjust as we go. So kind of like we uh, last game where you sort of stuck to kind of duos sort of thing. Obviously, it's different yeah. with no no sick, but that yeah, it is. Uh, we'll put Bowers in the middle there, and uh, have Pally with Bowers and uh, Halsey with uh, Timo, and we'll we'll shift it around based on how we how we look. Team at least a lot. Yeah. It feels like. Yeah. Where, what's your sense of where they fit in in terms of the top teams in, in the East? Uh, it's, it's no secret, uh, especially in Toronto, they, everything gets magnified. But they're definitely uh, one of the top teams. They're deep. Uh, they've got four lines. You know, they can put guys in and out of the lineup. Uh, you know, they're deep. Same thing with their D. They're deep on the back end. Uh, you know, there's there's no reason that they're not one of the top teams, um, and they are right now. 
They're getting Edmondson back tonight. Joel Edmondson, what, what stands out about him and kind of the impact he makes when he plays? Yeah, I've seen him a lot, uh, even back to his junior days. Um, big guy, competitive player, long. Uh, been a good D-man in the league for a long time. And uh, it's... You know, it's a good addition for them. Travis, um, Dawson Mercer uh, on the first power play obviously was part out of necessity, but uh, goal aside, what do you like about what he can bring in that net, net front? Oh, he's, uh, he's a tenacious kid. Um, he's got good hands around the net. Uh, it's good to see him get rewarded. And, uh, you know, Mercer's still learning a lot about the game, uh, and he's still growing and getting stronger, and, and there's no reason that... Hopefully, in time, he grows into a top-line power play guy with with strength, knowledge of the game, and, and learning the power play itself. How much? What has Jake, what has Jake Allen provided you guys the last few months? Uh, some stability. Uh, he, you know, obviously, saving the puck is a big part of it, but also he's he's a stable presence in the room. He's a really good pro. You can see it, and uh, you know, I think our team feels that as well. How much are you emphasizing right now that these last three games are just about showing character individually? It is. That's part of it. Uh, you always worry when you're when you're coaching a team when you know that time does come that you're not in the playoffs. Uh, you worry about a little bit of a mental letdown, uh, but it goes back to what we've talked about really from day one is our identity and being a team that uh, can win long term, win in the playoffs, and. You know, for me, that comes from just a natural willingness to win, whether no matter what you're doing. And uh, when you love winning and you're ultra competitive, uh, it doesn't really matter if you're playing hockey or playing checkers. You're you're going to play the right way. I think facing opponents that have a lot to play for will bring out kind of question group. Ah, uh, you hope so. Uh, you know, we've had we've had a lot of that. We've had, we've been playing some good teams. We've uh, come up short a little bit in some of the games, but I, I've liked our competitiveness. Uh, and, and we've shown it in different ways. And, uh, you know, we're playing a real good team at home tonight. We're going to have to be at our best.